Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, so first off I want to say really big thanks to everyone that um, liked, commented and subscribed to my channel for my recent ASOS haul. Um, I'll put a link up here if you haven't seen it yet but I just want to say a really big thank you. Um, it gave me a really good boost to do um, another haul. Um, so today we're doing a boohoo haul. So if you're new to this channel, hi, I'm Becky. Um, I do kind of beauty, makeup, plus size fashion, and general like lifestyle videos. Uh, so if that's such a, if that's your kind of thing, please uh, like and subscribe. And yeah, let's get into the video. So here's my massive boohoo order. Um, I got it during the payday weekend, twenty five percent off bonanza if i'm honest i haven't shopped on boohoo in probably a decade um i've always bought my kind of plus size fashion from like asos or you know trying to find the best size and in primark um and like zara started doing xxls um so if i'm honest i haven't shopped from boohoo literally since i was like a teenager when i would scour the sales section for like any bargains that I could afford. Um, so it really excited to try. Um, hoping the sizing's okay. If I'm honest, I've bought so many different sizes in this haul because everything was selling out and I also have no idea how I'm gonna fit into Boohoo clothes. Um, I'm normally a 20, 20, no, 22, 24, definitely not a 20, I wish. Um, and I'm five foot six. So hopefully that will help some of you guys out. So yeah, let's get into this bag. Okay, so here's my returns note. It has nothing to do with how much everything is, so that's grand. <laughs> okay, so first up, I have this uh, plus tie front sundress. Oh, I know what this is. It's really cute. I really wanted it in this blue, black, and white stripe, but I slept on my order and I woke up the next day and it sold out. Okay, so first wow okay very cheap material um i can see it straight through it but it is the summer so can't complain it does look quite short as well um yeah so it's this black um sundress it has a little tie bow at the front i think this was under 10 pounds um so yeah it'll be interesting to see how short this is and how see-through this is uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll uh, have a look in the trial clip. I will add um, the name of the dress, the size I bought, and how much it cost me um, down here somewhere in the trial clips in case I forget to tell you anything. So you'll be able to find out. So first up is this little uh, black strappy dress. Um, so I think on camera, I think you'll think it looks really nice. It is quite short so i wear like little comfort shorts under my dresses so i think this might peak below because it is quite short um and the material itself just feels cheap um so this was 10 pound 50 which it's reasonable price but i feel like primark would do me better um i've had to tie the bow myself the straps aren't adjustable um and while i think it looks okay I don't think I'm going to keep it just because the material feels very sweaty, very like man-made um, and I just think I could spend my £10.50 better elsewhere, maybe putting it towards something just with a bit better quality. Um, but I guess if you're on a, a bit of a budget and you're maybe going on a little holiday to Spain or something, then this might be good for you, but it's not good for me. <laughs> Up next is another black thing. Don't worry, I haven't ordered only black. I think they've just put the two black items at the top of the bag. Uh, so this is a plus tie sleeve detail smock top in a 20. I've just bought these really cute um, fun trousers from M&S. <laughs> um, that are like black, but they've got like kind of like cool like aztec -y prints on. And I just wanted a really simple black top. This is literally made out of the same material as that dress. Um, it looks quite sweaty. I feel like I'm going to sweat a lot in this. Um, so here's the top. I think I have to tie the arms myself, which can be quite good because then you can adjust the sizing of the arms. I'm not 100% on this material, if I'm honest. Like, I feel like it does feel really cheap. Um, but yeah, again, I'm going to have to try it on in the haul. Um, but I'm hoping that some of the other material isn't like this and it's a bit stretchy but not really stretchy so 
we will have to see. So next up is this uh, black top with this like tie ooh, shoulder detailing and it's made in exactly the same fabric as that black dress that I've just tried on. So it's just really clammy and hot and I just feel like I'm sweating buckets and I've only had it on for five minutes. The neckline, like my mum had to pull this over my head and I've probably got concealer on it <laughs> because it literally scraped across my face and it literally feels like I'm choking. Um, it is a flattering um, silhouette obviously having a peplum. Um, I've got I've paired it with my Simply Be Fern boyfriend jeans that I really like. <laughs> um, but as for this top, uh, it's a no. It was £13.50 um, and while like the like the detail is okay on the side but it was really fussy like my mum had to tie these up and I think if I had to tie them up on my own it would just be annoying and I don't know if you'd get the same look if you tied them up before you put it on if that makes sense and I just for 1350 as well for Boohoo I just think this is really expensive for what you're getting the fabric's not very good quality um, the sizing although this is a 20 I'm not normally I'm normally a 22 on top um, I just think it's just a bit small for a 20 even uh, so yeah this is a no from me oh so next up is something I'm really looking forward to um, it is this really cute like jump well romper jumpsuity short thing and I got it in this grey and I got it in a size 28 because I want it to be really like oversized and baggy Ooh, upside down so here it is and it is like really big but it has like a drawstring in the middle so I think it will be really cute um yeah I think with like a denim jacket some like white sandals maybe some gold jewelry I think this would look really nice um the fabric is like a little bit different but it's still kind of like cheapy feeling but I have definitely higher hopes for this one than the other two that i've just started with so yeah really excited for this one and i think this was like 11 pounds uh so that's that's a bargain this is the gray um play suit um so this tie waist is fake news it is literally a tie it's just a tie there is no like drawstring so it is just elastic which i'm really disappointed because i bought this to be oversized and to like really um like put it in so it's just being pulled in by the elastic um so i am a little bit on the fence i think i kind of need to see myself back in it to see how i really feel i just think like <laughs> this area i'm not super loving because it is such a light color it, sh it just shows shadows more um but it could be quite good to like wear around the house i do like the really big sleeves at the top um it was only 11 pound 25 so it was a really good price and like i get like the price that's why there isn't a drawstring like it because it is such a reasonable price but yeah i'm on the fence i think i'll have to like decide when i actually watch the footage what i think of it uh, so next up I have this really pretty uh, plus wrap ruffle smudge print play suit um, in a size 24 and it's got this like Dalmatian kind of print all over it again another, another play suit that is a recurring theme through this haul so it's a very stiff material Ooh, bit of paper there's no give in this whatsoever so it's going to be interesting to see how this will fit um because i do like a little bit of stretch because stretch is forgiving um to undo the tie waist so we get an idea of how big it is it is pretty um pretty big i so i'm a hopeful on the sizing however um, it is a zip up back so I'm only ever going to be able to wear this if I'm with someone <laughs> um, so if you don't know I normally like live um, alone in London um, currently I'm staying at my parents because of everything going on so my mum will be able to help me in this but whether I'll be able to get myself out is another story so we'll find out in the try on clip but it looks really cute out the back and the material is much nicer than the first couple of items. So I think it's safe to say that one size up would have been great in this. So I got this in a 24, it didn't even look like they did it in a 
in a 26. Uh, so it does up, but it is a zip, so I would need assistance. Um, it's super tight, like I can, li I can raise my arms to here and that's it. Like, no further, no light bulb changing in this play suit. Uh, so, uh, also a little bit tight around the tummy area. Um, but I do really like the pattern. I think the pattern's nice, the crossover's nice, the little bow is nice. I think if you're a, a 22, then I think you could go for this. Like, it is really pretty. There is no stretch in the fabric. Um, but yeah, I think if you're a 22 or under, I think you'd probably be okay. But for me, no, really sadly, I think it's gonna have to go back, but never mind. Okay, so then I have these jean shorts that I'm really, really scared. <laughs> Um, so these are a plus size, oh, duh, everything's plus size, plus high rise fray hem denim shorts in size 24. So I am looking for some denim sh denim shorts. I've never had denim shorts. Um, and like in summer, I'm normally a big fan of jumpsuits, play suits, or dresses with like comfort shorts underneath. So these would be interesting to try. So. Oh, is there any, there's no stretch in these whatsoever. Um, so I have no idea if these will fit me, especially as we're coming out of lockdown and I've eaten all the snacks. Um, but they seem really nice material. Um, and they, I don't know if they seem long enough either. I guess we'll see on the try on clip, but I am quite scared for these. I don't think these are going to fit at all. Um, but let's see. I think I'm going to have to do a bit more research maybe and see if I can find some with a little bit of stretching. We'll see. Uh, so up next are these denim shorts. And I can confirm I do not fit in them. <laughs> um, so there is literally zero stretch in these shorts. They're just super rigid denim. Um, so they do fit quite nicely on the back but obviously I can't do them up so I don't really know what that means I just guess the waist is just way too small and like the length between what is high waisted and what's actually high waisted on me just isn't enough um, and I do need stretch in my jeans um, so I guess if you're just a bit smaller than me definitely maybe size up one or two because these were a bargain I think they, these were £11.25 um, so a really good deal but yeah, they're just, they're, half, they're gonna have to go back because they literally don't do up. Well. Um, so yeah, never mind. And then finally, already onto our final piece. Oh no, one's on the floor. One's sneaked onto the floor, I'll grab that in a minute. Uh, this is another play suit. This is a wrap tie, waist play suit in a 26. Again, I know my sizings are all over the place because everything was selling out left, right and centre. So this is uh, it's that, that nice jersey material that I really like. It's kind of like really cool and nice feeling on the skin and nice and stretchy. Um, ooh, quite ah, lots of fabric. <laughs> uh, so here it is here. No adjustable straps, um, but it's like a crossover bodysuit and there's a little tie waist. And yeah, I think with like a t-shirt underneath or not, or it'd be good with a bikini. Uh, yeah, this could be really nice just to kind of like lounge around in during these really sunny, hot days. And I love khaki. I think khaki is really flattering with my auburn gingery hair. Um, so yeah, I'm really, I'm thinking this is going to be a good buy. Uh, fingers crossed. So this is the green khaki play suit. And I think we found a winner here. I think it was only about 11, 12-ish pounds. Um, and it's really comfy, really nice lightweight jersey material. This is a 26. So I think that's just the case with Boohoo, is I'm guessing you just have to like size up like one slash two sizes. Um, so this is really nice and stretchy and loose, just really nice for like wearing around the house, um, wearing to the beach, just chilling. I uh, also think you could dress it up with some nice accessories, um, some cute sandals. I like wearing strappy things with a t-shirt, so that's just my preference. Um, it has got a nice little tie at the back. You could wear it at the front if you want. The shorts are long enough. Yeah, I really like this. Um, I might see if they have any more colors. Uh, so yeah, thumbs up for this one. 
And then last but not least is this like fluorescent orange number. Now I did not think it was gonna be this orange. And this is a plus, I keep saying plus, we all know it's plus guys. The Ditsy Floral Angel Sleeve Skater Dress in orange. Yes, we can tell. Again, it's that nice jersey material rather than that kind of like scratchy stuff. Um, so here is the dress. I got this in a 20 six quite a deep v but we'll see how that looks in the try on it's actually really cute i think so i've got some white birkenstocks i think this would look really cute biv um interesting to see how this will look with my hair as well because obviously being a redhead it's either gonna look really cute or really bad um these really lovely sleeves and yeah it's just that nice stretchy material just like this dress that i'm wearing here um like during this time i don't want to be wearing anything that's like it's uncomfortable because what is the point um so yeah i think this is really really cute and it doesn't look too short either it doesn't look like my booty's gonna be hanging out the bottom so yeah interesting to see how this looks so here is the orange dress and as you can see bosom to the wind um it's very gapy here like i don't i'm guessing it's for people that have lots of cleavage to, to show um i do not have that <laughs> um i like i love the sleeves i think the sleeves are really cute and uh, like if i got a little pin or a little cami or something to put there then that would be nice not keen on the length i think it's quite short for me but it kind of sticks out funny at the back and also it's very orange <laughs> I feel like it looked a lot less orange online. I feel like I'm being really negative in the video, but I'm not, honestly, I went in with the best intentions. Um, I'm just not feeling anything. Um, but the I like the material. <laughs> the material feels nice and lightweight for summer. So if orange is your color and you've got a bit more boom, boom happening here, then I think you'd love this dress. Uh, it's just not for me. Um, but nothing wrong with it if, if it's your, your cup of tea. So finishing this haul now with the probably the one item I'm going to keep. Um, considering I haven't um, shopped on Boohoo literally for like years, I think it's safe to say that I do need to size up to like around a 26, even a 28 in some things. Like they obviously just run small and that's just something I've had to learn through this haul. Um, so hopefully this was helpful for you guys as well, that you were able to see um things on um know what the fabrics are like i really love this this play suit so i'll definitely keep this but as for everything else most of it didn't fit me if it did fit me it looked a bit rubbish <laughs> so never mind um we did buy some face masks so me and my mum are going to be um trying them on in a video coming up soon so subscribe for that also got some more stuff coming in from asos and shein so that'll be coming as well so if you love plus size hauls or you like any kind of beauty and lifestyle videos please subscribe because we've got loads more coming um and like and also comment what your experience was like with boohoo because uh, that might be able to help me out in the future as well all right guys catch you later bye